Hi, welcome to another episode of uh, Audio Tech. Today I want to talk about how you hook up and use a direct injection box, otherwise known as a DI, which I've covered in my intro to DI video. It's a very simple setup uh, if you're using a live acoustic amp, acoustic guitar on stage, a lot of times you're going to have to be put in a PA somehow. So instead of putting microphones on the guitar or microphones on the amp, what you do is you would run your normal guitar cord out of your guitar to the input of a DI box of your choice. I have an Art Series Z Direct here. They're under $30 and they're very good boxes. I've had good success with these. So once you get the guitar running into the box, you need to run another cable to your amp. So that's just basically continuing your guitar signal to your amplifier. So instead of running the guitar cable straight into your amp, you're going to run it to the input of this box. And then you're going to take the through output of the box and you're going to run it into your amp. So it's just one continuous signal going to your amp. But what the box does is it splits the signal internally and it converts it to a high, or from a high Z input to a low Z output. That's good for running long distances through um, stage uh, snake systems, which can be 100 feet or better. So you don't want to lose all that signal, so you want to convert it to a low impedance signal. So at the other end of your mic cord, you're going to run this either into a stage box on the floor, built into the floor, or you're going to run it um, into a snake. Or if you have a mixer, you know, you're a small band, you just have a little mixer on stage next to you. You can just plug it right into that. And so that's how you wire up. It takes three cables, two guitar cables and a mic cable to get it set up if you're running a live amplifier. If you're not running a live amplifier, then you don't need that one. So you're just going to run the guitar straight to your DI box. Run the DI box straight to your snake or channel input. And you're done. So that's how easy it is. All these boxes have ground lifts on them so that if you do wind up getting a, a buzz, an electrical 60 cycle buzz, you can hit the ground lift on the box and that'll take care of that for you. There's usually different options on different boxes, so check out the boxes and make sure they, uh, that the one you buy suits your needs. I would recommend if you're an acoustic guitarist um, that you keep these boxes, just, just buy one. They're cheap. You know, yes, they can be really expensive if you get the high, super high quality radials or something that are hundreds of dollars, but you can get, you don't need to go that expensive. You can get these for, you know, 25 to 30 bucks, 40 bucks from various companies um, to cover this. And that way you know that you're covered when you do your performance so that the live venue may not have DI boxes. They should, but you can't always guarantee that. The person that says, yeah, I'll come out and do sound for you, they may not have any clue about DI boxes. So that's how you wire it. Pick one up, keep it in your guitar case, and you'll always be ready for a, a live performance through a PA. Um, if you're not going to have a, a live um, amplifier on stage for your monitoring, um, then you'll use the monitors that are on stage that the PA is fed through this box with and they'll feed that back to you on the monitors on stage so that you can hear yourself. So that's how that's done. It's not a hard complex thing and it's better than using microphones all over the place. Less cables, cleaner stage appearance and better sound. So hope that helps and have a good day now. Remember to subscribe for more of these videos and please click the share and the like button and I hope everyone has a good day out there and thanks for watching.